Namaste, yogis. This is Stephen from Yoga Works. Welcome to your practice. What we're going to do today is we're going to schedule ourselves in. First of all, I changed locations. I want to try some different spots around the lodge. And uh, today this room was free, so I thought I'll, um, I'll, I'll share a little bit of this incredible uh, views and nature all around. And secondly, how are we going to schedule ourselves in? Well, first by realizing that often we schedule a whole bunch of other things all of the time. We schedule work, we schedule finances, we schedule kids and family and relationships, and we schedule friends, and we schedule other things that uh, are not always topping us up. And what we're going to do today is exactly the opposite. We're scheduling in half an hour practice with the aim of recharging our battery. We'll be a little bit active, but in a really quiet and sort of down-to-earth uh, way today. And I invite you to step into this practice with this mindset. You're here to schedule yourself in. You're not here for somebody else or because somebody recommended yoga or because you want to take a picture for Instagram and show it to others. No, this one is just for you. Here, let's start in downward facing dog and immediately start to walk the legs out. So you can straighten one leg and bend the other knee and then alternate so that one at a time, one heel goes a little bit lower and stretch into the calves, the hamstrings, the whole back body. Next time the left knee is bent, keep it bent. And then look at your right foot, turn it into the middle, almost like you're doing warrior one on that right side. And all we're going to do is lift the hips up and then lean the right hip back so that you get a really nice side stretch on the whole right side of your body. Nice. Take another breath here. Good. And swap around, so right knee bend it. Left heel, make it come into the midline so that the left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Lift the hips, lean the left hip back, and maybe even look under the left armpit if you want. Just get into the left side body, maybe the outer hip even. And then slowly release it, slide the right knee forward for a brief pigeon pose. We'll revisit pigeon again at the end of the practice, but it's always nice to, as an initial stretch, Wiggle around a bit. We're not lying all the way down. We're keeping a little bit more active, a bit higher. So we're just touching in on how those hips are feeling. Here, let's step back. Slide the left knee behind your left wrist to the left the outside edge of your mat. Slide the right leg back. Come up into the fingertips, lift up high. A couple of breaths here. Just feel what's going on. How is your body doing right now? And you're letting your body know that you're there for its well-being. You're not here to stretch the maximum out of your limbs. That's a different approach. Good, let's step back. Back to the down dog. Lift the right leg high, bend your right knee. Open the hip and lean into it. Good, and we're going to step right foot all the way outside the right hand. You can lower the back knee down, lengthen the heart forward. And I forgot to say in the beginning, but I've got a block nearby. If you want to have a little bit of support, then just pop the block under your elbows. Or if you don't need a block, your elbows come down without any problem, then that's fine. But as we said in the beginning, we don't need to uh, get into super discomfort and maximum stretch. Just a little bit of uh, mindful movement to feel good and to let your body know that you want it to feel good. Good. Step back, down the facing dog. Let's lift the left leg high, bend the left knee and open the hip to the side. Just lean into it for another breath or so. And as you exhale, step left foot all the way outside your left hand. Lower the right knee down. Grab your block. If that feels good, lower your elbows to something, or you can stay on the hands, of course, and just uh, pause in visit pose for just a moment. Good. 
Nice. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly come up. Put the block off to the side if you're using one. Downward facing dog. We're going to walk to the front. Take little steps. Just take your time. Walk it slowly to the front of the mat. And then just hang down and relax forward fold. You can hold your elbows if you want. You can bend the knees a bit. Just cascade your body down from the level of the hips. And then it's such a nice pose to hold a bit longer. See if you can tip the pelvis forward. You're sticking the sit bones up. You don't need to straighten your legs to do that. But you can, of course. You can straighten a little bit more if you feel nice and open in the back body. And then let's go flat back. Place your hands on the shins. And then reach your chest forward towards, <laughs> towards the ocean, I was going to say. Uh, it's towards the front of your mat, wherever it happens to be facing. And then stick your buttocks back and lift the belly up a little bit. So this is a flat back, one of my current all-time favorite poses. Good, we're going to twist this up. Bend the left knee a little bit so that left fingertips can come down under your face. Let's lift the right arm up. And if you can, straighten the right leg and lean the right hip back. You can look up at the top hand if you can. And open the chest to the side. One more inhale. As you exhale, come down to swap the right hand under your face. Bend the right knee a good amount. Straighten the left leg as much as you can. And then lift the left arm. Reach up. Open the chest to the side. And then with the head and the spine, I'm still trying to go forward. I'm trying not to... Collapse down and round the back. One more inhale, create the space. And then exhale, slowly let it go. Nice. Bend the knees a little bit. We're going to slowly roll up to stand low. No rush. Get to the top. Roll the shoulders a couple of times. Nice. Now lift both arms. So with the right hand, I'm going to hold the left wrist. Take the left arm over to the side into a standing side bend. When I'm here, I always need to watch the front of the zone pop out. I'm doing my best to keep the front in and then lengthen up and over, pushing the feet down on the back. Right, so one more breath here and then slowly lift up. Get ready for the second side. Left hand holding right wrist and lean over to the left. I'm right, so pushing the hands down. I'm keeping the front body tucked in, so I'm not going to a back bend. And then open the right side. For me, the right side feels a little bit more um, tense or restricted than the left. I don't know about you. And then lift arms, exhale, forward fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway left. Lengthen the chest forward. And then exhale, step right foot back. And lower the right knee down. Nice. Lift the arms, one breath in the low lunge. And then lower the hands down and pull the left hip back. And just linger here for another breath or two. To pull the left hip back. Lengthen the chest. Squeeze that front foot. And then gently re-bend. The front knee, plant the hands, step back to down dog. Inhale, let's come forward into plank. Exhale, lower down anyhow you want. As, as you cobra, keep it mild, roll the shoulders back. Open the heart to the front. But for this first one, don't lift so high. Just feel a little bit of engagement in the back body, a bit of firmness in the legs, but not like a striving or pushing quality. Good. And then press it up to down dog, however you get there. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Push the thigh bones back. Exhale, step right foot forward, left knee to the mat. Low lunge, just one breath. Now lift your arms. And step to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Hinge from the hips. Flat back. Inhale, the heart goes way forward. And exhale, fold and lengthen over the legs. Nice, you can roll it up or you can sweep the arms however 
It feels good. Lift and lengthen. Palms touch. Hands come back to the heart. Good. Second side. Here we go. Inhale. Breathe in. Some new fresh air. Some new possibilities. Exhale. Follow the breath down. You can always bend the knees a bit. And then inhale. Flat back. Lengthen. Exhale, left foot back this time for low lunge, plant the knee, lift the arms, and reach. Nice. Lower the hands, start to move the right hip back. Often, you might need to slide the right heel a bit forward, so that left hip can stay above left knee. I like to lift the ball of the front foot, so you're getting to the lower leg as well. But there's lots of different options and variations. For all of these poses, so uh, just play around with it. Good. We bend the front knee, plant your hands, down dog. Inhale takes you forward into plank pose. Stack your shoulders over the wrists and start to bend the elbows, lower down slow. Another one of those mild, feel good cobra poses. You can always roll the shoulders back. And down your back, lengthen the heart forward. Now don't throw the head back, you're going to squeeze the back of your neck. And you're going to sound like this when you try to talk. So keep the back long, the back of the neck long, and keep the breath soft. Even if you don't go that high, that's okay. And then move it back. Keep down the face of the dog. Good. Inhale here, find some length in the spine. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee down, low lunge. Raise the arms, and then hands down, step to the front, forward, full top of the mat. Inhale, rise halfway up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Nice. Roll up, or somehow lift the arms and mount them. Touch the palms together, and bring the hands back to prayer. Nice. Let's do one more round. But in between, we we'll first do a little, um, a little hip stretch. So stand on the left foot, bring the right ankle onto the top of the left knee, and then bend the standing leg. That's your left leg in this time, in this case. Nice. You can bring one hand to the foot, one to the knee, or whatever the hands like to go. Sit the hips back and lengthen your chest forward. Take a moment, sit a little bit lower if you can, and then slowly release it. Place the right foot down, bring the left ankle to the top of the right knee, and then sit. So bending that standing leg, move the sit bones back behind you, and reach the chest a little bit forward. Rest your hands wherever they are comfortable. Take a breath. Good. Slowly release. Back to the front of the mat. Inhale. Lift your heart. Exhale. Forward fold. And relax the head at the bottom. Inhale. Halfway left. Exhale. The right foot back for low lunge pose. Nice. Inhale. Lift the arms. And then lower the right hand down. Reach the left arm back. You're welcome to stay here. Or for a moment, hold the back foot in the left hand. And then gently release. Go down at facing dog. Press the thigh bones back. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, slowly down. Clasp your hands behind the lower back. Before we lift the locust, roll into your right side body. And then do locust on your side. So Pashva version, the half one-sided version of locust pose. Open the chest, lift the hands away from your back, and then swiftly roll to the other side. Whoops. Onto your left. You might have to worm around a bit to get there. Move your legs, your feet behind the level of the hips. You can lean the head a little bit back if that feels good. And then roll back to center and make your way to down dog. Inhale and down dog. Get back to center. And then right foot forward, left knee down. Just one breath here. Lift the arms. 
and hands down, head, neck, relax, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. It's a space in the whole upper body. And exhale to fold again. Nice. We're going up, reach through the arms. Palm touch, hands to the heart center. Good. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. Remember, we're here showing up for ourselves. The only thing on the agenda is you. Inhale. Rise. Exhale. Follow your breath down to the bottom. Halfway left. Inhale. Step back. Left foot back. Left knee to the mat. For low lunge. Anjane. One breath. Inhale. Look at And then transition your left hand down. Right arm back. You can stay here. Or if it feels good, hold the back foot for a moment in a quad stretch. Really nice. Hands down, down and facing. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale slowly down. We're going to do that locust pose again, rolling to the side. It's too much fun. Roll to your right. Hopefully you're getting a little better at this. And then bring the legs together. Really imagine doing locust on your belly, but it's lying on the right side. Maybe lean the head back, contract the back body, and then roll to the other side to your left. Do the same thing and just enjoy how smooth the breath is. Usually your belly is down, so you can barely take full breaths, but that's different now. And then roll back to the middle, down the facing dog. Press the hands, lift the hips. Inhale. Exhale, left foot forward for Anjane. Back knee down. Lift the arms. Expand. Good. Step to the front. Forward fold. Inhale to flat back. Hips back, chest forward. Exhale to forward fold. Nice roll up or sweep the arms up. All the way to the top, palms touch, hands come to the heart. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a slow breath in. And take a slow breath out. Now, can step the feet wide. You can turn to any side that feels uh, better for you or easier. And then parallel your feet. You're going to fold forward. And then in the first moments here, keep the, the little bend in the knees and hold opposite elbows. A bit like the ragdoll version of the wide-legged forward fold. Take a moment to, you're steadying the legs. And as much as possible, relax your upper body. Let the head traction the spine longer just because of its weight. Not because you put in so much effort. There's more and more hang down and imagine the little spaces between the spinal vertebrae are increasing with every breath. Nice. And then release the hands down, turn the toes out just a little bit, and then we're going to sway to the left, bending the left knee and straightening the right leg. Nice. Just stay here for a little moment. If you have to change anything, we're just pausing. Later, we'll do this a bit more uh, dynamically. Good. Then sway to the other side. So your shoulder is somewhere inside the right knee. Your hands can go wherever you need to support. Right into the bent. Left leg is straight or straight-ish. And you're just sitting a little bit lower with the hips. Nice. Now let's sway side to side. Go over to the left, and then go over to the right. Nice, find a nice rhythm of breath as you close your eyes, if that feels good, and just sway with one leg with the other leg, always straightening the opposite leg you're moving away from. Mm, keep the breath soft, keep the head heavy, keep the shoulders relaxed. Nice, now four. 
three, two, and one. Now slowly come to a stop in the middle. Let's turn the right toes out a little bit more. Bring the right elbow. Or oh, I just realized I'm not mirroring you. Um, for me, it's the left elbow. Let's do one side and then we'll get to the other side. So I'm pressing the left knee away with that left elbow. And I'm softening the hips down as far as they go. So now we're getting to that right inner thigh in a big way. That remember the theme of the class, we're uh, scheduling ourselves in. So if it feels really stressful and too tight, we're going to have to modify that pose a bit. We'll just come out a little bit. Good. Oh, the other side, straighten the left leg, bend the right knee. I'm placing the elbow inside the thigh to apply a little bit of outward pressure. And then start to soften the hips down. Good. Slowly come up. We're going to turn the toes out and the heels of the in. For force, sit nice and low with the hips. And lengthen your spine. Right, so we're going to place the hands on the knees or a little bit on the insides. Start to turn the left shoulder down, lift the right shoulder up and look over the right shoulder to the sky, the ceiling above you. Good. We turn to the middle and go straight to the other side. Right shoulder down, left shoulder up. Keep bending the knees a lot and pushing the knees back with your hands. That's just so good. We're going to do one more to each side. Left shoulder down, right shoulder up. Rotate around the spine. It's quite a nice twist for the upper body. And then right shoulder down, left shoulder up. Rotate to the left. Nice. Now release that and squat inside your left leg. You can stay a little bit higher up. This is okay. Or you can squat all the way down inside his left knee. For me, it feels better to lift that heel. It's a bit more space for the, the calf muscle and the Achilles there. And then you can lift the right toes up as you straighten the right leg. This is Skandasana. The surface pose, there's actually often surface here. And I've never seen him do this pose, but uh, maybe it's not advanced enough or uh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen this in the water. It seems quite difficult to do this on a surfboard, isn't it? And then sneak over to the other side, just squatting inside the right knee, straighten the left leg, the left toe is up. And then I like to pin that right knee a little bit more open with the right elbow, so that the, the thighs are moving away from each other. One thigh is going that way, one thigh is going the other way. Really nice. Slowly release, come back to your hands at the front of the mat, put down the facing dog. Inhale into length pose. And then just lower the knees here and hammer up the hips down. Just hang and even sway side to side a little bit. You can untuck your toes if you want. Just soften the front of the hips. Looks like you've been sitting for a while that tends to feel a little bit tight or even angry at times. And then make your way back to down the facing dog. You're going to slide the right knee forward behind the right wrist with the right side of the mat. Slide the left leg back. I promised you another pigeon. So here we go. We're going to do three different options for pigeon. The first one is with a twist, the left elbow is going to come down. You can hold that right knee with your left hand if you want. And then right hand, you can't see it on this side. But I'm pushing the right fingertips outside the right knee on the outside. And then lift the chest and turn to the right. You can also look up, but don't crank your head too much so it doesn't always feel comfortable. Take a few breaths, lengthening the right hip back. 
lengthening the chest forward and up, and then the twist is happening in between those points, between the hips and the shoulder. Nice. Release that. We're going to stay in this pigeon pose on the same side. Walk the hands over to the left, top left corner of your mat. And then with the right hand, go extra far to creep the fingers a bit forward. Push the right hand down. Turn the chest down to the mat. And breathe. Breathe all the way from your right fingertips down to the right hip. Feel all those tissues lengthen. Nice. And last version of the pose. You can choose whichever one. Um, you can sit up, you can hold that back foot. Or an all time favorite, isn't it? Sleeping pigeon where you just soften down, you close your eyes, you drop in sort of a quiet space. Just observe how your body's feeling. There's still a strong stretch between the other parts of your body can be quite relaxed, including the forehead, your belly, your shoulders, and the other pockets of resistance. Hmm. Good plant the hands. Slowly make your way back to down dog. You can always walk the legs out or move anywhere that feels good. And then left knee, place it forward for pigeon pose on the second side. Reach the right leg back. Once you're in position, lower the right elbow down. You can hold that left knee with the right hand. Left fingertips, I like them outside of the left knee. Now for this pose, don't go really low. You want space to twist, lift high, and then turn to the left. Couple of breaths here, pull the left hip back, and at the same time, the chest goes forward and up, and then you're twisting in between those points. Nice slow breath. Good. Option two, or a variation here walk your hands to the top right, walk the left hand extra far, turn the chest down, and breathe. You really tune into the breath here as you inflate the size of the ribcage with your breath and increase the side stretch. And on the exhale, just soften down. And then third option for the pigeon pose, I'm just going to go straight down the middle, rest my forehead on the hands. But if you're doing something else, then, uh, then do something else. Try and do the same thing as you did on the first side. If you remember, you know, as yoga teachers, we forget all the time what we did exactly on the other side. So if you forget, um, we're on the same team. Good. Slowly lift up. We're going to swing. Uh, right leg forward to lie on the back, on your back. Now, cross the right knee on top of the left knee, and then hold the feet, but hold them low. Right. So you're just holding the feet next to the hips, the legs are lightly squeezing together. But overall, you feel like a really easy pose. You're not even sure you're stretching anything, and that's fine. If this is too much, I forgot to say, you just hold the knees and pull them in. That might be a good alternative if the feet are out of your reach today. And then just uh, don't worry for a second if you're holding your feet, your knees, or even nothing at all. It's great. From the shoulders till your back on the mat, till the breath in your lungs. Good, let's swap the legs. Left knee goes straight on top of the right. Hold the feet or the knees if you want. 
this is going to be a little bit easier to reach. And then rest down. You're just draping your arms from the feet. You're keeping the feet close to the hips. There's other options that are way deeper and stretch, but sometimes there's just no need to to go all the way to the maximum every single pose is there. So enjoy the, the restfulness and the calm versions of the poses. And then gently release. Come up to sitting. If you want to do a Shavasana, this is a good time to just switch off the video and uh, go straight into some rest on your back. Otherwise, if you have things to do, places to go, then you can end the practice together seated. Just sit, rest your hands, lengthen the spine, look relax, shoulders and face. Close your eyes for a moment, just sit. Just feel what is uh, available. Feel the feeling of being in your body. I feel a sense of appreciation. You came to your mat. You scheduled yourself and you kept it calm and positive. And hopefully you feel amazing. Hopefully you do this practice many times or similar practices. Whenever you feel you could benefit from it. And place your palms together. Touch your hands to your forehead. To your heart and bow to the wise guide inside. Yogis, thanks so much for practicing. Namaste everybody. Well done and have a good one. See you here again soon.